Hello, hello, hello. Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Swiss Confederacy campaign. And if you remember from the last video, I asked a question at the end of the video, what should I do? Should I leave this army here and wait for my reinforcements to arrive? My cannon reinforcements over here from Zagreb, which would take a few turns. Or should I press forward with my army and actually attack the Austrians. Now in the last part we did actually get a ceasefire with the Russians. They're no longer at war with us. We're only at war with Austria as far as the major nations go. We have got a couple of other wars going on with Naples and Sicily and Sweden but that's nothing to worry about. At the moment it's mainly Austria which we're focusing on. Um, let's just double check where my cannons are because I seem to have lost them. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, did I have cannons? I'm sure I had cannons. Maybe I maybe I've done this wrong. Um No, I can't find oh Venice. It was Venice, sorry. And recruiting more in Venice, I see. That's okay, so um I'll probably go with another one. Just for good measure. So we're recruiting in Venice. Um it would take at least three, four, maybe five turns to get here by which point this army would disappear. So I need to make a decision, should I attack or shouldn't I? I think I probably will attack. They are depleted. All of them are depleted, so I would have a decent opportunity. I do have one unit of artillery myself as well. So here we go. We're going to attack Austria here. We will be... Oh, well, fortunately the reinforcements are not in range, so I can press forward and attack. I had a feeling that they would be reinforced, but the good thing is that reinforcing army obviously isn't in range so we've got a big opportunity here to end the Austrian Empire also I've decided that um, in future videos when I do the the end turn phase I probably will be cutting out um, parts of the end turn phase if nothing interesting happens because it adds 30 seconds to a minute onto my videos and then it makes it a bit longer to render and a little bit longer to upload so I think it would probably be the best to to just um, cut them out if need be and what I'm going to do here where's the line? The line's by here we're going to devour our enemy or at least try go with one long line I'll go with my cavalry on the right flank my artillery is going to be in the centre here, my general can stay nearby. I'll start the battle from here. My artillery is in range. Don't know if my artillery is even in range. It is in range. Not in combat for some reason. Ah, oh, here we go. They're in combat now. And I have too many men over this flank. So, what I will do, I'm going to bring this whole line around to form a kind of V or an L, however you want to call it. My artillery is lining up, look, to get a few shots away. Here we go, that's what I want. They're going to start firing any moment now. Let's zoom in, get a bit of the action. My Swiss artillery, here they go. Getting some shots away. And there we go, straight away, taking some of the men out. Drop the morale. I like the fact that they've actually put these spikes here, but they're actually marching towards me. Apart from the general. I've got a chance to take the general out here, actually. And I get my artillery to focus on the general as the Austrians bring their lines forward. As a matter of fact, we'll be in range soon enough. I can actually bring some of these forward. Like so. Just bring all my lines up. We'll be able to start encircling the enemy soon. Put my cavalry in a diamond formation in case I decide to actually charge the enemy. Any moment now, and my men are starting to fire now. Which is good news for me. Let's get some of these men to stop and start firing in case they catch me unawares.
Get this unit to run. Here we go, we're starting to route them in the middle now. And look at this. Victories, huh? is soon to be yours. Routing many of their units. Looks like their general's gonna get involved. We're gonna quickly switch to diamond formation to protect this flank from the cavalry units that are gonna come in. Our main line's doing a very good job. The general's routing. Need to form square quickly here with these units. I'm going to bring my line, line infantry forward now. I'm going to try and disrupt the enemy as best I can. Take out as many of them as I can. My squares are doing lots of damage in the centre. Look at this. The Chevalier Gars being completely wiped out. The General's come back. But he is suffering very much so in this battle. Bring all these units forward. I'm actually bring my my own cavalry forward. I'm going to march them straight up this right flank. Take out some of the routing units. See how many of the Austrians come back after this. Let's get all my men to charge them. Bring the Chevalier Gars to attack them here. I'm going to continue the battle briefly. I want to take out as many of these as I can. Get a few more shots away. Let my my uh, artillery attack the units that are over there where the cursor is. Here we go. Look, my cavalry being put to work, taking out the Austrians wherever I can. I think these units can stop now. As can these units. Just let my cavalry. Do the mopping up. I think I'll get my artillery to stop as well. And there we are, wrote another unit there. I think I'll end the battle there actually. Quit battle. It's a close victory apparently. And we got an achievement as well. The Eye of the Ever Watchful General. I'll check that out later, see what the achievement is all about. But a great victory there for the Swiss. We only lost 46 men. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Um, they'll fall back. I actually feel confident enough to take on the Austrians here. So I will go forward again. And look at this. We can actually take the Austrians out, I think, in this in this episode. So I'm going to press home my advantage. I only lost a few men in that last battle. The two Austrian armies are both depleted. So if there's a chance to take Austria out and take... Transylvania, then this is it. So, plenty of battles in this episode. Not much campaign play, so nice change of pace. Oscar Reichmann. And it looks like now that that decision to not bring up the artillery looks to be going in my favour now. I did have the one unit anyway, so you know, it wasn't too much of a of an issue, but it is nice to have plenty of artillery, especially in these type of games in Napoleon and, and Empire, because it does give you a big advantage. And here we are on the battle map. Um, I'm going to go with two lines, one to operate on the left flank. I'll actually put them into situation like so. Nice long line. Second line. To go on the right flank. This is to give me maneuverability. Cannons in the center, like so. I'll probably bring them forward slightly, I think I will. General, near the cannons. My horses can go in the center as well. And we will start the battle there. I need to limber. I also forget the limber the cannons. It's my own fault. And what do we have? We have plenty of uh, troops to take out. The reinforcements seem to be coming over on this left flank. We could probably take out this army straight away, which I think I'm gonna going to do. Let's uh, 
bring this line right forward to fill the gap. I'm going to push up with my other flank as well. No point sitting back. The second flank is going to take position on this mound over here. They seem to be running their, their horses down to attack me at the moment. I want my cannons to focus on their units over there. While my units form position where this blue line is, I'm going to halt this army here and try and take these out as best I can. This is the depleted army which I fought in the last battle. The reinforcements are running over as quickly as they can. My main army can actually run up to intercept as quickly as possible. Get the AI to think about this. Think about my flank and move over there. I'm going to actually start firing on this uh, unit here. Militia unit. Get some shots away. Start to take some of them out. We'll gradually start to run these u units up nearer. And here we go. Form squares quickly. I was too slow there to form a square with the one unit. Now we're getting to position and now it's working. Look at this. All this cavalry is going to be wiped out. And it's looking pretty good at the moment. Our general is under attack. Our general's under attack apparently. But these squares should be it over here. So much cavalry, so many squares. And what do we have over here? Enemy general wounded. Okay, that's good. Left flank is doing this job very well. Form square quickly here on this flank. Get my cannons to focus on the general. Time to bring the horses into play. Cavalry. I'm going to march them straight towards. Get these out of the square. Focus on the general. Our men are running for we have men running. Uh, where are they to? Over here in the centre. That's okay. This square is doing its job. Doing its job very well, in fact. General doesn't know what he's doing. And now I have a charge coming in for the general. Here we go. Let's zoom in and see the action. Here we go. General going to get wiped out. Let's tell my cannons to stop firing. If they're going to fire, they can fire on we have killed their general, units over there. And the general's been killed. Let's bring these out of the square. I'm going to bring them over to this flank to support. Let's get these units out of square. Bring them up to attack, in fact. Bring all of these up. I'm going to actually unlimber my cannons. I need to get range over there, which I haven't got at the moment. So if I can bring them to, say, this little mount over here, I'll be able to get range of the units over the far side of the map. Let's get all these units to start firing now on the enemy. As their reinforcements come down from the mountain. And now I can bring my my units forward, or at least I will be if the one hasn't glitched by here. It appears to have glitched. Don't know what's going on with my cannons, the glitching. Oh, now something's happening here. Um need to bring these units forward as quickly as possible to reinforce. This is good. Let's get them all to fire on this unit now. Um, here we go. Finally, get the horses to come up. I'm gonna run them up up this hill as quickly as possible. Let's bring all my line infantry forward. Let's get some shots away. Where are my horses now? They'll be in range shortly. Actually, I could probably unlimber here. Let them go a little bit further just in case. Okay, I think that'll do. So we'll unlimber them there. They can start firing on the enemy. Okay, I'm plenty of shots away. 
Also have my reinforcements making their way up as well. Let's get these uh, artillery units start firing on the Austrians. Let's get these men across quickly. They do have a lot of reinforcements. Bring these to the right flank over here. We'll try and flank them if possible. Lots of micromanage at the moment. But it will work out in the end. At least I hope anyway. Again, plenty of shots away. We have lost quite a few men actually. On this left flank. We did of course lose that one unit earlier. But we're getting plenty of shots away. Won't use my cavalry yet. I will save them till the very end. Let's get my artillery to fire on this cluster of enemies at the far far side of this mountain over here. Let's start bringing some units up. Try and get these units into some sort of formation. Then we will be looking pretty good. Get all of these units to run into position as quickly as possible. Now it's time to use the cavalry. Get them to charge down there. Bring this unit up as quickly as possible. Do have two units in reserve, which I'm bringing up to help out behind. Don't know where this unit's going. This unit's got a death wish, but they're gonna try and take these enemies out. All my men firing now, doing very well on this left flank. Time to take the cavalry out. I will form a square with this unit. Just to help me out. Bring the cavalry out as quickly as possible. Get them out of there. Cannon's doing well as, as well. It is taking a while to get through these Austrians. They are putting up a good fight. But the right flank is more or less secured now. I'm gonna press home with this advantage. Start bringing these men up. Keep these in square so they can take some of these routing units out. The artillery is in a decent position. I think I bring the general up in case. Our men are Oop, running we've lost, lost some more line infantry. Let's bring the general up. Reform our lines. Swiss doing very well in this battle. We have the upper hand. Just feels a matter of time. This unit's dropped in now as well. Only a few units left. The artillery doing a good job for me. Let's bring these out. Bring these right around the back. And now this enemy is going to be attacked from all sides. Plenty of shots being fired. Just feel that the end is near now. One unit left. The unit of militia, they shouldn't last long. And there they go. They just started routing. And that is the battle, more or less. Sewed up. A great victory for the Swiss. End the battle there. Close victory. But a victory nonetheless. And the Swiss Confederacy marches on.
And that should be the end of the Austrians now. Let's double check this. They lost 631, we lost 425. That's not quite the end of the Austrians. Um, there we are. So, I will end the episode there. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Until next time, goodbye.